Dear NMC students, I've had the opportunity to talk to several of you over the past couple of weeks and I can hear your anxiety and your fears and I just want to take this opportunity to reach out to you to answer some of your questions. But first and foremost, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hear um, amazing stories about you and what you're doing and how you're um, just showing compassion, uh, understanding and patience to help us get through this. So thank you for that. Um, I am working with the Methodist Health System every day and in on their incident command and I can't tell you how inspired I am um, by the people that work there and what they're doing to help with this crisis. You are so fortunate to be going into a career that is making such an impact and I, I can't wait for you to get there. I want you to know that um, your faculty and staff are going through a lot of the same things that you are. I hear their anxiety, their fear, they're having to learn things that they've never had to do before. They had to pivot very quickly uh, to get classes online that weren't online. Every day things were changing, so information that we gave them about clinicals one day changed the next day, and sometimes even an hour or two later, we had new information that we had to uh, decide and, and move forward with based on the information that was coming in. So again, your faculty and staff, were everything that they do and everything that we do here, the number one thing that we always say is what's in the best interest of the students and what can we do to ensure that you are all successful. So know that we're here for you. The college is open. It's open if you have printing needs, if you have uh, internet problems and you're worried about getting your assignments done, we ask that you sign in at the front desk so we know who's in the building. Uh, we do want to limit it, so we, uh, we want to make sure that when you are here that you're safe and that you're practicing social distance. Uh, so keep that in mind. Most faculty and staff are now working from home, but they are available through email, through any other ways that um, they've given you that you can communicate with them, and they're open to that. They want you to communicate and reach out. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, um, reach out to them and get those answers because the more answers that you have, the more your anxiety will go down and you'll be able to focus on the things that really are important. So keep that in mind. Um, I also want uh, to answer the question, I've been getting a lot of questions from seniors about graduation. And even though we, gra we canceled the in-person graduation, we are going to have a graduation for you. It will be um, something that no one has ever done. So we're looking at doing it in a new and exciting way. So do fill out your graduation forms. Make sure that you put your name and your personal statement that will be read. We will be sending out your caps and your tassels. The college has decided to pick up those the expenses for that because we know you're going through so much already. So we will send those out to you shortly. You will be getting those in the mail. If you can, put them on, take a picture and send them back to us so that we have a picture of you in your cap and your tassel. And again, we'll be doing a virtual graduation. You'll also be able then to walk if you want to in the late summer graduation and there'll be more information that's sent out about that. Uh, so we will celebrate that May 1st graduation and then you'll have the opportunity to walk again and we'll be sending out more information. But mostly I just want you to know that we are here for you. We know this is hard. Uh, this is something that no one uh, could have ever predicted. So thank you again for your patience, your understanding, and know that we're here for you. Any anxiety, um, anything, we have counselors available. We have staff that are available to answer questions. I know that first test is coming up. That's bringing a lot of anxiety. We're gonna work through you with, with you on that to make sure that it all goes smoothly. It probably won't uh, the first time and we're anticipating that also. Uh, so just know that we'll work through this. We will help you graduate. We'll help you get through this semester and we'll be sending out new information as we have it available as we're uh, about summer, probably in the next week or two about what that will look like. Uh, but we will get through this. This will end soon. Keep focusing on one day at a time and uh, put Put your family and, and your friends first and make sure that you reach out and take care of each other through this time. Take care and be well.